<laughs> hey everyone, my name is Mike, and in this video we'll be doing the quest called Ugly Baby, where we have to go find this small, um, cursed man called Uma. He kind, of, he kind of looks like Stewie Griffin from Family Guy, and also mutated. And uh, we know that he's somehow connected to Siri because he was seen with her in Skellige. So we know that the baby is in the Baron's castle, and this is where we are right now. So we're going to go inside and see if we can speak to Uma and maybe take him away from here and maybe bring him to Yennefer and investigate him a little bit, see what he knows, if he knows anything. So we need to go speak to the Baron's sergeants because I don't think the Baron's here anymore. He's too busy trying to bring his wife back to like normality. So let's speak to the sergeant. Need to talk to you. About? Uma, here we go. Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error, a mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bug has been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Oh, that was quite easy then. We got permission to take him. So I think the um, Uma was being being used as a jester in the Baron's um, fortress, whatever you want to call it. So we've got to speak to the guy at the stables. There we go. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Yeah, so they've been using him as a jester. So um, out of my way, find some other diversion. Just stay out of my way. No, not about to bring him back. Open the door, now. My god, he gets his way easy, don't he? The <laughs> Geralt. Here he is. Ugly little bugger, isn't he? What is he? Hey, little guy. Yennefer suggested that he may be Siri, like in a case. But I don't think it is. This here is Roach. She'll take us to Care Morin. Well, come on. Hmm. I'm, I'm interested to know if it's a person we've known in the past and he's just being cursed to look like this. <laughs> he's got a rat on his waistband, doesn't he? he? Must like rats. What the? He's not gonna eat it, is he? Quit playing around. Let's go. Oh, have we got to take him to Skellige? Where are we going? It's quite a, it's quite a long way away. We got to take him. Well, I think that's where Yennefer is. Oh, it's funny. Like, there's a lot of really ugly things in this game, but they're all also quite cute in a way. Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. Why are they chasing us? Hmm. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. Alright then, we've been to Vizima before. That's where we met the Emperor, where we got the quest to find Siri. Not too sure why he's displeased of us. Maybe because we're taking too long. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Banglin. If I may, your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. There's Yennefer. At once! Oh. 
Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. Oh, he bowed this time. <laughs> Who is this guy? I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. Have it your way, Your Majesty. I don't take orders from you. Let's just do that one. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. <laughs> I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. Alright then, um, this monstrosity might be your daughter. I know where Siri was, what she did. Yeah, that's what Yennefer suggested, that it might be his daughter. So let's just say this and see what his reaction is going to be. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries. But to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... How does he know that? Dandelion told me. Oh, of course. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt... You've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Hmm, half my reward. What's the re 2,000? So the reward is 4,000. Okay then. So I don't intend to bring her here, so be it. Let's just, we're not going to upset him anymore. Let's just say this one. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. I mean, once we find Siri, we'll have to see what she wants to do. I'm not just going to bring her back just because he asked me to. I'm going to leave it up to her. I don't think this is going to be Siri inside this body. Because it's a man as well, they say. They call it him, don't they? Even though it's called Uma. So the curse, how do we lift it? Let's do it. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt. Forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Alright then, one week it took us to get here, so this is quite far away. I think this is the first time we've, yeah, it's the first time we've been back to Kaer Morhen since the start of the game, where we were playing as Geralt, like, you know, 15 years ago, whatever it was. Fork tails this close to the fortress? Someone's been slacking off. I wonder who's living here then, in Kaer Morhen, if there's anyone that we know. Must be, right? Did Vesemir come back here? I can't remember where he said he was going. There he is. 
Been away quite a while. Too long. <laughs> And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm, <laughs> what have we here? Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip, and is this? <laughs> now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. It's cute though, isn't it? Come on. So Yen's already here. Yeah, is she already here? Oh, she teleported. Of course she's here. It took us a week to get here. She probably got here in a second. Yen's here already. And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see you, jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. She's got no manners, has she? So where is everyone? What GM planning? That was a good bed. Let's see what she's planning. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. I mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. Alright, sounds suspicious. Must have reasons. So it does sound a bit suspicious. She's up to something. Glad you noticed. Yeah, so where is everyone? So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well... Like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Alright, so help you never fix the Megascope, find Eskel, help him front the fork tail, and talk to Lambert about journeying to this circle of elements. Um, seeing as we're like by the front gate, I think we'll go outside first and we'll help Eskel hunt the fork tails. So, um, is it just out here somewhere? He said it's like a few miles back, didn't he? But search for Eskel, Eskel's tracks near the entrance to Kermor Hen. Yep. Alright, so there they are. Must be Eskel's prints. No one else has left the keep recently. Yeah, so we'll deal with the in the fork tails first, and then we'll come back and come do the Yennefer stuff. I don't think it, does it actually matter who we deal with first. It's not gonna mess up what could have happened, is it? If we do this first, hopefully not. Anyway, and actually, we do need we need the fork tails anyway, don't we, for the the ingredients? So I think it, this is a priority, really. Really. So this is kind of cool as well. It's like a whole new map again. You know, we've we've arrived in a battle care Mohen for the first time and been able to free roam it. I think there's more to than just the castle. That's horse. What's its name? Scorpion. Beautiful animal. Where's this horse? Oh, have I run past it? It's a bloody wolf here. Oh, there's this horse there. I look I ran right past it. So examine the area around Esco's horse or tracks using your witcher sensors. Right, first of all, we'll kill this um, this wolf. Let's run off. Never mind. Right, so we're gonna search around here, aren't we? What's this? Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. Enhanced Draconoid oil. I think I've already got that, so I can't pick it up. We got to examine a bit more. What's this? Are these footsteps. Footprints and hoofprints. A goat. Interesting. All right, so he's got a goat with him. That's a bit weird. Maybe that's bait for the fork tails. So I think these are just foot tracks end here. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. <laughs> we gotta find if it's pooed anywhere. <laughs> Alright, there's is that um hoof prints there on the ground? Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. 
A clump of goat hair. Ugh, the stench. Imagine if you could do that, get the scent, like, off a little bit of his hair that rubbed against a branch. It's crazy, isn't it? So here we go, there's a scent in the sky now, so we follow this. <laughs> Eskel's tracks. The nose knows. Alright, so we got more footprints to follow this time. Now that he's back on the grass, there's a bit of noise happening there. Lil Bleater. Didn't tie itself to this stake. Yeah, it's the bait for the forktails, isn't it? Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> yes, it works for witchers as well. Uh, this guy, yeah, he was at the start of the game when we were with Siri as a child. Remember his face. We didn't really speak to him though. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full. And sharp as ever, in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. So, Yen keeping you busy, you too. Let's do the pleasantries first. You too. How are things? Same old, same old. Another day, another drowner. That it? I'm a simple witcher wolf. Don't fight dragons, don't fraternize with kings, and don't sleep with sorceresses. Unlike some. Consider yourself lucky, try to limit myself to sleeping with sorceresses. Um, Consider yourself lucky, I guess. Fame's not all it's made out to be. Consider myself lucky if I were you. You're right. Takes a lot of champagne to wash down all that caviar. That is tough going. Shh. Hear that? Incoming. There we go. To bait a forktail, fight the forktail. Well now, before we start the fight guys, I've been playing around with a few potions and stuff. And there's been a lot of people hating on this the potion that I've I've got now called the Echidna. I think is it Echidna? We just quickly find it and we'll talk about it. There we go, this one here, the Echidna the Cotion. In performing actions that consume stamina, we generate vitality, and this is ridiculously overpowered. I mean I'm gonna use it now just to show you guys, but you literally like pretty much can't die because you use stamina doing so much things in this game. Even jumping out of combat, that we that uses stamina. So jumping heals you. Now it's ridiculous. I'm gonna start using it for a little bit, and if it gets like stupid, I'll stop using it. But for now, I'll use it. So it's active for 40 minutes almost. Activate shield. See my health up there. Now if I do this um, spinning attack, my health goes to full. It's crazy. <laughs> This should be pretty easy, this fight. Hit the wings. Got crossbow. Listen to it scream. I put bleeds on it and all sorts. So chase the fork tail. It's running off. Should I get on my horse, maybe? It's going quite far away, isn't it? There's the other guy on his horse. No, he's on foot. He's way behind. So follow the fork tail's blood trail using your witcher senses. Here we go. Bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. Not scared to leave the horse down below? Fork tail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. A purebred Kedwani. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved this lost knight once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No kid this time, but his mare had just fold. Eskel and Scorpion, bound by fate. An enchanting tale. Mock me all you want. You're just jealous. There we go. I couldn't find where to go then. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. My mom sang it to me. You remember her? Just that silly song. Nothing else. Alright, so it looks like the fort tail's gone inside. There looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. Where's it? There's a goat there. Rotting flesh and deer hide. Isn't that a goat? There's a good deer. Oh, it is a deer. Never mind. 
Alright, so let's just follow the blood. It's gone deep into its lair, now it can't fly away, so it should be a pretty easy fight. Hang on, there's a chest here, what's this? Crossbow. Could be an upgrade. Although crossbows most of the time aren't even that decent, they're not worth... It says, they you have attack power on? Oh god, never mind. We'll talk later. Just go crazy on it, Natch. There you go, burning and bleeds, and he's gone into the wall. It's a bit weird. A bit easy, right, that fight. Let's collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. You don't say. You had mentioned why she wants this. Alright, so we know why she wants it. She wants it to make the, um, the curse removal potion, whatever you want to, whatever it is. Gonna tell me which side of the knife to cut with next? The sharp one. Come on, hurry up. Spinal fluid. So we need to go back to Care Morehead now. Let's loot the corpse. It's just basic stuff um, for crafting stuff, I guess. Nothing special on there. Alright then, so it's a pretty long hike back to Care Morehead now, so we'll make our way back and speak to Yen. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider? Alright then, so he wants to race back to Care Morhen. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. <laughs> First to Care Morhen wins! Alright then. Let's do this. I'm going to destroy you, mate. I'm just going to sprint. The, the racing in this game, there's not much of a tactic to it. It's just sprints for as long as you can. If your stamina runs out, slow down a bit, then sprint again. It's it's very basic. There's no like tapping a button to a certain pace or anything like that. You just double tap to sprint and then go. I'm thinking I'm following the green line, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going the right way. So I think it was about 500 feet the whole distance. So I think we're about halfway, and the stamina's also halfway. So we should be able to make it all the way there in one sprint, hopefully. But if he does get close, we'll just have to slow down and try and block him off if he tries to run past us. And then uh, sprint again, of course. So yeah, this is pretty easy. We're at Care Morehead now, just outside the gates. And we win. Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Oh, is he gonna give us a new saddle? Don't need anything if you insist. Yeah, gimme, gimme. Since you insist. Here. Use it wisely. What is it? Is it ho it must be horse related, right? So look at Geralt's face, he's all mutated, isn't he? Mountain Folk Boots. Let's quickly check what they are. Alright, they're not in special. There's no offensive stats on them. It's just resistance to poisoning, really. So, meh. Not gonna wear them. Sell them, though. Now we got a um, Hangman's Venom manuscript page as well. So, I think he gave us a recipe there for the coaching. Not the coaching, but um, a blade. Oil, excuse me. 